Hey, how is everybody today? I am going to show you how to download the free cut files that I offer and open them in Cricut Design Space today. So I get asked a lot how to open um, and use the files. I'm going to be doing this tutorial and then soon after I'll do a tutorial on how to open them and add them to the Silhouette library and open them in the Silhouette software. So first we're going to go to the Summer Watermelon Cut file. This is one I shared today. I'm going to click on the post. And then I'm going to go to the very bottom. Read, 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 read. These instructions are actually in blog posts I've written. If you do step-by-step -step tutorials and you want to go a little bit slower, you can read them here and then how to save them to the Silhouette Library below that. Um, but to download the files, we'll enter our first name. Okay, so we enter the first name, enter your email, and then download cut files. And then it's going to take you to the thank you page. Thanks a bunch. Check your inbox. That's where the freebie went. Okay, so we're in my email now where the files have been sent to me. I'm going to press on download cut file. And then at the very bottom of my screen, I'm going to see open, save, with an arrow next to it, or cancel. Okay, so I'm going to click on this little arrow, and I'm going to go to save as. I'm using Windows, so this may be different if you're using an Apple computer or another version of Windows. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to... Um, I'm just going to name it Summer Watermelon, that's what it's already named, and I'm just going to save it here. Now you want to remember where you save it, so your file name. I'm going to save mine in what's called Flatlay. Press save, and then it'll tell you it finished downloading. You can open, open folder, view downloads. Since this is a zip file with an SVG, DXF, and a PNG file in it, we can't just open it. We have to unzip the file first. Alright, so I opened the folder where I saved my files. Actually, this is a little bit different, um, but you can see here is our zipped folder. You're going to right click on it and open with, and then it'll give you different options. Um, you can open it. Most people are going to use WinZip. However, I found that um, when I got my computer, I only got a 90 day trial. I was able to go to their website and get more time on it but that then expired and I think I had to pay for it so I found something called zip opener which is the same thing but it's free so I use zip opener I don't know if any of you are in search of something to open the zip folder or files but if you are maybe try zip opener and then I go to save to folder I would pick where I want to save it at this point and press on pack here. Now since I've already got it on packed, I'm going to X out of that. So with the silhouette or with the Cricut, we're going to use the SVG file, which is this one. It does look like a browser page, but when you hover over it, you see it tells you type SVG document. So this is the one that we want to go to Cricut Design Space and open. So let's head to Cricut Design Space. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. To open the file, we're going to click on New Project, and a brand new canvas will open. Then we're going to press on Upload. We're going to go to Upload Image. And here you are going to browse and find where you unpacked that zip folder. Um, so you want to find that SVG file. So mine is right here. I'm going to click on open. It shows me the file, Summer Watermelon. If you want, you can add tags here. That makes it easier to find when you go back to your Cricut Design Space and want to reopen it. Um, so you could tag it with Summer, comma, Watermelon, or anything that you know reminds you of this image. I'm going to skip that step for now and press Save. 
So now it's down here in my recently uploaded images. To add it to my canvas, I'm going to click on it, it highlights green, and press insert image. I just did a tutorial, I'll link to it down in the description, on how to fix um, these cut files if they have any added shapes or filled in areas. I have a feeling this one is going to have that um, because I mentioned in the other video I had to start saving mine differently. <clears throat> so as you can see there's the black and there's the gray. You can leave it how it is um, and just not cut the black part when you go to your mat or you can use the little eyeballs over here to hide the pieces. Um, actually I'm hiding the little watermelon seeds so I don't want to do that. Um, but you can watch that video. Right now as you see we have this open. I think that one's going to do it. There we go. So we hide those two pieces and now we have the cut file the way that it um, is supposed to be displayed. And then you can choose to actually take those two that we hid and instead you could change the color on them if you wanted to do multiple colors for this design. And you could do the middle part um, pink and you could do the bottom part green. You can see how we have um, now the bottom part filled in if we want to change that to green to be like the watermelon rind, you can do that. Um, if you wanted to hide the letters, then you can do that. Um, however you guys want to go ahead and alter it is fine by me. All right, so that is how you download the zip files, the free cut files, the freebies from poofycheeks.com and open them up in the Cricut Design Space. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. Again, I will leave the link to the video I did previously showing how to hide. It's a full tutorial on how to hide and move parts around within the designs if they open up incorrectly or with filled in areas when it should not be filled in. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you have a good one.